What up squad, welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert Bricks Glover. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button right now. I make life-changing videos where I give away all the game, all the wisdom, all the very valuable experiences that I learned during my 150 pound weight loss process. Hit the like button in advance, guys. We've been doing real good with the likes. I'm trying to get this video to 3,500 likes. I'm gonna be giving away a few t-shirts to some of the people who are in the comment section below. So hit the like button right now, leave a comment. Comment a video suggestion. Comment how my channel has impacted your life in any way. I appreciate all the feedback. I appreciate all the engagement, guys. Thank you in advance. Before we get into the video, definitely wanna shout out my Bricks Fitness Insiders, which is my accountability family. There's a lot of benefits to being a part of the Bricks Fitness Insiders. You get to watch these videos in advance. There's exercise resources, there's nutrition resources, and most importantly, there's an accountability system. There's a family of people who are on the same path as you. We support one another, it's very interactive. I do Zoom calls with my Insiders family. If you need some more information, click the link in the description below. Get some more info. I would love for you to be a part of the Insiders family. All right, so today's video how to use revenge for weight loss. This is the only reason why I'm making this video is because I personally was able to leverage the energy and the passion of revenge to really kickstart my weight loss process. Now again, disclaimer, I don't think this is the healthiest thing to do. Mental health wise, I, I honestly don't. And I definitely wanna preface this video uh, by saying that. But revenge, passion, rage, just wanting to prove people wrong. If that energy is used accurately, if that energy is directed in the right direction, it can be a powerful thing that can really help you lose weight. Because here's the thing, weight loss is not easy. Especially if we're talking about significant transformation. If you want your body to go from this to this, that process is tough. And you have to have something fueling you, right? You have to have something that's pushing you through those tough times. You have to have something that's going to keep you consistent. Because honestly, if it's for the wrong reasons, if it's just aesthetics, if it's just because you wanna get that girl, honestly, that's not really gonna do it. It has to be something bigger than you. It has to be something pushing you. And I'm gonna talk about how revenge or strong, passion to prove someone wrong or to, or to really like come up on somebody, so to speak, uh, how I managed to leverage that to get a good kickstart to my weight loss journey. Again, key word, it was a kickstart. I don't think revenge is going to get you to the finish line. It's something that's going to help you create some momentum. It's something that's going to just get the ball rolling for you, but eventually your fuel is going to have to switch. And I definitely want to say that before we get into the details of this video. The fuel has to switch. You can't depend on revenge to get you to the finish line. And, and honestly, there's no finish line. But what I'm saying is, this is just something that I want you to use to get the ball rolling. All right, so let me get clear about what I'm talking about. For instance, if you've gone through a breakup. First, yes, I do have advice for you. Stop being a little bitch. Boo-hoo, wah, she cheated on me. I don't have any motivation. Fuck that. You now have more money in your pocket for protein, food, supplements, other supplements. What the fuck are you crying for? You see, now is the time, more than ever, that you need to be in the gym. Love is a four-letter word, but so is Carl, and that's exactly what you're gonna do. Arms and chest, chest and arms, every fucking day. Because when you go to the bar in your extra medium express shirt, and you run into her, your guns are gonna be hugging the sleeves so fucking tight that she's gonna be wishing that she was back in your kitchen making you a trembaloni sandwich. It's game o'clock, motherfucker. Let's go! I honestly think breakups have probably created more weight loss transformations than any other situation in the world. I think more so than health more so than wanting to be a good example for your kids. I literally had someone, right, my kid's mom, look me in my face and told me that I was never gonna be shit. She didn't call me fat or anything like that, but in my head, what she said was, you fat fuck, you're gonna be a bum without me. That's how, I, that's, that's not what she said, but that's definitely how I processed, you know, you know that, that conversation and it lit a fire under my ass. It lit a fire under my ass. She had left me to, you know, be with a dude who was fit, 
And I'm like, oh, word. Okay. I, I see, I see what happened here, you know, but of course that was my imagination. It was my imagination. It was my insecurities that was creating this narrative that was creating this story that at the surface level was true, but I'm pretty sure, I mean, I don't, I don't know if that was her intention or, or if the fact that I was fat was the reason why, anyway, that's a rabbit hole. Let me, let me, I'm digressing. Let me bring it back to the, to uh, the topic here. So I use that, right? I would play that over and over in my head. You're, you're never going to be shit without me. Anytime I felt like quitting, I would just play her voice in my head. You're never going to be shit without me, which I translated as you fat fuck. You're going to be a bum. <laughs> One of the main things that distinguishes humans from the rest of the animal kingdom is the fact that we have egos, right? We have this thing that makes us sensitive to words, right? When people say just it's, it's words, right? This is how I'm processing it, right? Like it's words. We, may, we give meaning to words. No other animal has the ability to do this. No one, you're like your dog doesn't care if you tell him that he's fat, right? Your dog doesn't care. Humans are unique in the way that we have this ego that make us sensitive, that makes us emotional, that you know um, creates this story about ourselves and who we are in the world, which puts us in these situations. You know, when there's an, when there's a disagreement between two humans, they want to hurt each other. They want to hurt each other physically. They want to hurt each other mentally. But here's the thing: you have a choice. And it, take, it took me a long time to, and I'm still working on this. You have a choice how you respond to certain situations. So your ego doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. A lot of us don't know how to control our egos, but if you know how to control the force that your ego creates, you can use that to create scenarios in your life that benefit you. For example, let's say it's 9 p.m. You had a long day at work, you're tired, you came home, you put on your PJs, you're about to make you something to eat, and a friend calls you, and they're like, hey, you know, I, I need a ride. And your friend, the friend lives 45 minutes across town, they need a ride to work. How motivated are you in that moment to get out of your PJs, out of your warm, cozy house, drive 45 minutes across town to take your friend to work? How motivated are you in that moment? I'm pretty sure you're not very motivated to do that. I, I wouldn't be. But let's say a friend calls you and say, hey, I'm 45 minutes across town, but I see your wife in this lounge with some other dude. How motivated are you gonna be in that moment to drive 45 minutes across town? It's, you're not even gonna think about it. But that's the power of passion. And that may not be the best example, but this is a good example to show you how different scenarios, different forms of energy can inspire you to do things that other scenarios might not inspire you to do. I want to say the first 80 pounds of my weight loss was the equivalent of me being inspired to drive 45 minutes across town to catch my, my wife cheating on me. I was like on fire. I was passionate. I was angry. I was hurt. And I used that to motivate me to do the things every single day that was going to allow me to change my body, feel better about myself. So you have to be intentional about this. You have to have some sort of emotional control in order to direct this power, this energy, this passion in the right direction. Again, this is not something that I consider healthy. I'm only keeping it a hundred percent with you guys. I'm only making this video because this is what I did for the first 80 pounds. I leveraged intentionally. I leveraged the passion, the anger, the frustration to drive me to do the things that I needed to do to change my body. Now, here's the thing. Eventually, you're going to have to switch fuels. Revenge, you know, wanting to prove people wrong. That's not a sustainable fuel. That eventually is going to run out. You're not going to care as much. And then you're probably gonna go back to eating potato chips and burgers all day. So with that said, I want you to intentionally understand 
this process. I want you to know that eventually I'm going to have to switch fuels. Let me intentionally use my, my desire for revenge to fuel me with the understanding that eventually maybe, you know, halfway through it, it's going to be very, it's going to vary from person to person. You're going to have to switch fuel. So the fuel ended up switching for me to two very important things. I, I felt the momentum and then I said, hold, hold on, maybe someday, I can help other people do what I'm doing right now, right? Which is what I'm doing right now. And I also thought I can set a good example for my kids on how to eat healthy, how to take care of themselves, how to become physically fit. So that's how my inspiration kind of transitioned from revenge to something a little bit more sustainable. I should say a lot more sustainable. Again, you have to understand this process is it going to be the same for everybody? Absolutely not. I'm assuming that revenge is not going to take you all the way, but it could. But it's also not really good for your mental health to, to be fueled long term by such negative low vibration type energy. Again, I definitely want to give that disclaimer. I'm not advocating this sort of approach, but when I tell you it's powerful, passion, the energy behind passion, the energy behind a broken heart, if leveraged, if directed in the right direction, can really give you some momentum to get you started, to really get that head start on your weight loss transformation. But you have to be mindful of this. You have to be intentional about it. And you have to be in control of your emotions. You can't, uh, because it can go either way. It can cause you to overeat because you're depressed, or you can use that, that passion, that fuel, that energy, to push you in the right direction. And as long as you're going in the right direction, then I'm not, you know, I'm not opposed to using this sort of energy. As long as you're doing it for something positive, you're improving your health, right? But also be mindful of your mental health. Again, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you have any video suggestions, put them in the description below. Shout out to the Brick Squad, I love you guys. And as always, I'm just trying to share the wellness. So get well and get money.